The Royal Australian Navy's MH-60R Seahawk helicopter, affectionately known as the Romeo, stands as a cornerstone of Australia's maritime defense strategy, delivering unparalleled capabilities in anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, and a range of secondary missions. As of July 2025, the RAND's MH-60R fleet has undergone significant updates, not only in its operational scope, but also in its armament arsenal, ensuring it remains a formidable asset in the Indo-Pacific region. With a planned expansion from 23 to 36 helicopters, bolstered by advanced sustainment contracts and cutting-edge technological enhancements, the MH-60R's weapons inventory has been refined to meet evolving threats. At the heart of the MH-60R's offensive capabilities lies the AGM-114 Hellfire missile, a laser-guided, air-to-surface weapon designed for precision strikes against surface targets. The Seahawk can carry up to eight Hellfire missiles, making it a potent tool for ASUW missions. These missiles, renowned for their accuracy and destructive power, are ideal for engaging small boats, coastal defenses, or enemy vessels, offering the RAN a robust capability to counter surface threats in contested littoral environments. The Hellfire's versatility allows it to be deployed in various scenarios, from protecting naval assets to supporting joint operations with allied forces. Its integration with the MH-60R's advanced sensor suite, including the Telephonics APS-147 multi-mode radar and the ALQ-2HEN electronic support measures, ensures precise target acquisition and engagement, even in complex maritime environments. As regional tensions in the Indo-Pacific persist, the Hellfire missile remains a critical component of the Seahawks' ability to project power and deter aggression. For anti-submarine warfare, the MH-60R is equipped with the Mark 54 lightweight torpedo, a highly effective weapon for engaging submarines in both shallow coastal waters and deep open ocean environments. The helicopter can carry up to two Mach 54 torpedoes, each fitted with advanced sonar and homing systems that enhance its ability to detect and neutralize submerged threats. The Mach 54's sophisticated guidance system allows it to track and engage elusive submarines, making it a cornerstone of the RAND's ASW strategy. Recent advancements in the MH-60R sensor capabilities, particularly the addition of a digital magnetic anomaly detection system developed in collaboration with Sikorsky and CAE, have further enhanced the torpedo's effectiveness. The MAD system improves the helicopter's ability to detect submarines by identifying magnetic disturbances in the water, providing critical targeting data for the MCAC-54. This upgrade, rolled out in 2025, underscores Australia's commitment to maintaining a technological edge in undersea warfare, particularly as submarine activity in the region grows. Beyond missiles and torpedoes, the MH-60R is equipped with crew-served weapons that provide close-in defense and support for a range of missions. These include 7.62mm machine guns mounted at the port and starboard cabin windows, and 50 caliber guns positioned at the cabin doors. These weapons are essential for self-defense against small boats or personnel during low-intensity engagements, as well as for supporting special operations or search and rescue missions. The crew-served weapons offer flexibility, allowing the Seahawk to engage targets in scenarios where precision missiles or torpedoes may not be required. While less prominent than the Hellfire or MCAC-54, these guns are a vital part of the MH-60R's multi-mission capability, ensuring it can respond to a wide array of threats in dynamic operational environments. The MH-60R's armament is complemented by its potential to carry unguided rockets, such as 2.75-inch rockets, for additional ASUBU and naval gunfire support missions. Although specific rocket types are not always detailed in recent sources, the Seahawks' ability to integrate such munitions provides an additional layer of flexibility, enabling it to deliver suppressive fire or engage multiple targets in rapid succession. This capability is particularly valuable in scenarios requiring rapid response or area saturation, 
such as supporting amphibious operations or countering swarm tactics by small vessels. The integration of rockets with the helicopter's advanced avionics ensures accurate delivery, further enhancing its combat effectiveness. The effectiveness of the MH-60R's armament is amplified by its state-of-the-art mission systems, which provide unparalleled situational awareness and targeting precision. The Raytheon AN AQS-22 airborne low-frequency sonar is a critical component for ASW, enabling the helicopter to detect submarines at significant depths. Combined with the ALQ-210 ESM and the electro-optical infrared camera, the MH-60R can seamlessly transition between ASW, ASUW, and surveillance roles. The recent addition of the MAD capability further enhances the helicopter's ability to locate submarines, ensuring that its MK-54 torpedoes are deployed with maximum accuracy. The APS-147 radar, meanwhile, supports the Hellfire missile's targeting by providing detailed surface mapping and threat detection allowing the Seahawk to engage targets at extended ranges. These systems, integrated with the helicopter's weapons, create a synergistic effect that maximizes its combat potential. The RAND's commitment to modernizing its MH-60R fleet is evident in its recent fleet expansion and sustainment efforts. In 2022, Australia ordered 12 additional MH-60Rs through a U.S. foreign military sales agreement valued at approximately 985 million USD, with deliveries expected between mid-2025 and mid-2026. This expansion, which includes an additional helicopter to replace one lost in 2021, will increase the fleet to 36, enabling the establishment of a third Romeo squadron and supporting a broader range of missions including logistics roles previously handled by the MRH-90 Taipan. In March 2025, Sikorsky Australia secured a 313.5 million Australian dollars sustainment contract to maintain the fleet, ensuring that its weapons and systems remain fully operational. This contract, which will create over 75 jobs in Nowra, New South Wales, also positions Australia as a potential regional hub for MH-60R maintenance further enhancing the fleet's readiness. The strategic implications of the MH-60R's updated armament and capabilities are significant. As the Indo-Pacific region faces growing maritime challenges, including increased submarine activity and territorial disputes, the Seahawks' ability to deliver precision strikes, conduct ASW, and support multi-mission operations is critical. Its recent operational milestones such as surpassing 50,000 flight hours by July 2025, demonstrate its reliability and versatility. The fleet's active participation in exercises like Tigerfish and Kakadu, as well as its role in enforcing UN Security Council sanctions under Operation Argos, highlights its operational tempo and strategic importance. The MH-60R's armament, combined with its advanced sensors and ongoing upgrades, ensures that the RAN can project power, deter threats, and maintain maritime security in a complex geopolitical environment. In conclusion, the MH-60R Seahawks armament arsenal, comprising Hellfire missiles, MCOC-54 torpedoes, crew-served weapons, and potential rocket systems, positions it as one of the most capable maritime helicopters in the world. Recent enhancements, such as the MAD capability and fleet expansion, have further strengthened its role in Australia's defense strategy. Supported by robust sustainment contracts and integrated with cutting-edge mission systems, the MH-60R remains a versatile and lethal platform, ready to address the evolving challenges of the Indo-Pacific. As the RAN continues to invest in its Seahawk fleet, the helicopter's armament and capabilities will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in ensuring Australia's maritime dominance for years to come. Thank you.